Time to make a delicious and savoury dip that can be made in just a few minutes using the blender. Let's make some hummus on the One Pot Chef. <music> Let's make some hummus. First things first, we're going to need some chickpeas. I've got two 400 gram cans of chickpeas, which I've just drained and rinsed, and I'm putting them straight into the blender. Next, I'm adding in a quarter cup of lemon juice, probably about the juice of three lemons. I want to add a bit of garlic. I'm going to add in probably one to two cloves of garlic. You don't have to chop them up or anything, but I'm using the stuff out of the jar, so it's already ready minced. So about two teaspoons worth or two cloves. You can always add more if you want a stronger garlic flavour. I'm also adding in some tahini, which is basically a sesame seed paste. You can get it in the health food aisle of your local supermarket or from a health food store. And it comes in a jar, so about maybe two tablespoons roughly. A third of a cup of olive oil. I'm using some extra virgin olive oil, but really any olive oil will do. And about two tablespoons of water. Put on the lid. Now how much you blend this will depend on what consistency you want. If you want it to be a smooth dip, then you obviously blend it a bit more. If you want it to be slightly chunky, you blend a bit less. I'm just using the pulse button, so I'm just going to blend this together in short bursts. That's looking pretty good, so I think we're just about ready to put this into a bowl. And here is our completed hummus. and absolutely amazing. It's nice and thick but it's still got a few little chunks in there and I'm just serving this with some corn chips but you can serve this with pretty much anything. You could use uh, carrot sticks, celery, uh, toasted bits of pita bread, little bits of focaccia, anything really. So let's have a quick taste. Ooh, yummy. Mmm. Oh wow. <laughs> It's got that sort of rich, creamy flavour to it, and the garlic and the tahini. It's really, really good. Mmm. I'm definitely attacking this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.